After years of buildup, Portland Street Response is off and running. They took their first calls Tuesday morning. We were anxious and just ready to get started. The Portland Street Response team seen here in video provided by the city includes a program manager, a firefighter paramedic, a mental health crisis clinician, and two community health workers. Instead of armed police officers, 911 dispatchers will send them to nonviolent calls involving mental health or addiction. It's based off a decades old model in Eugene. In 2019, the local paper Street Roots published an op-ed demanding a Portland version. Honestly, last night, I got a little teary. This week, <laughs> they got what they wanted. It's an enormous shift of the imagination, of the social imagination, and I think, I think we're ready. And arresting people isn't helping. John has been on the streets for a year. He agrees amid Portland's growing housing crisis, this is desperately needed. The officers aren't equipped to deal with what is going on out here. They're equipped to deal with criminals and not uh, people who have a drug addiction and are sleeping in tents. That said, despite all the support for Portland Street Response, there is one caveat, at least for now. Keep in mind, this is just a pilot project at this point. So right now, the team will only respond to calls in Portland's Lentz neighborhood. For those not familiar, Lentz is a pocket of southeast Portland, east of 82nd Avenue and south of Powell Boulevard. Officials chose it for the pilot because it's diverse, it's lacking in services, and they say calls about mental illness and addiction have risen faster here than across Portland as a whole. But for those eager to see Portland Street Response operating elsewhere, say downtown, they'll have to wait. Officials plan to study how this works in Lentz for at least six months, maybe longer. The goal is to expand it citywide by 2022. There's just one problem, money. This pilot project is costing the city $4.8 million. Most of that came from one-time cuts to the Portland Police Bureau's budget. The result of calls amid racial justice protests to defund the police. Frankly, no one can guarantee that will happen again, even if it's done with the goal of expanding Portland Street Response. Whether it's um, health care organizations, whether it's Medicaid or Medicare at the national level, what we're looking at is what would be the funding source to make this a citywide effort. Officials added the city's general fund is not an option. Thanks to COVID, Portland faces a massive deficit. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.